Good morning, everyone! Let's play House of Iron 4 as Poland. So, uh, we're starting in 1936. Obviously, no nonsense like historical AI because we're playing with no exploits. The only reason to use historical AI if you want to use exploits, and I will talk about exploits in a moment. So, let's start as Poland. Uh, no nonsense like Iron Man, I can't be bothered. So, Poland. Let's talk Polish strategy because this is actually quite interesting. Poland has one of the most choices of all the countries. So strategy number one, and this is the exploit I'm talking about, is that if you, if you ever conquer Czechoslovakia before the end of uh, 1937, I'd say, let's take a look at German uh, focus tree. Then Germany is just going to keep trying to demand Sudetenland. But just notice this. Germany can take this uh, focus even if Czechoslovakia doesn't exist and th then it's gonna get cancelled. So if you play on historical AI, Germany after Anschluss is just going to keep trying to get Sudetenland over and over and over and over. So every day it's just going to get this and in an hour it's gonna get cancelled. And next day it's just going to try this and in an hour it's gonna get cancelled. So this is the exploit as Poland. It makes the Polish game super easy. You basically uh, conquer Czechoslovakia, which is, I mean, not the easiest war ever because it's kind of narrow, but it's not terribly difficult. And this makes Germany completely, completely glitch out of the game. It's going to do nothing. Eventually, Italy is going to get a war with Greece or something, and that's going to be the Second World War. So eventually, there's going to be a war. Hello, somebody watching it. So this is the exploited strategy number one. So what else can we do as Poland? Uh, the first thing we can do is we could join the Allies and get destroyed by Germans from one side and Soviets from the other side. So we don't want to join the Allies. There's one thing that's worse than joining the Allies, and this is uh, actually setting up Między Morza. So we can set up our own faction. Hey, there's somewhere. Um, where's it? Yeah, that's the faction. So we could set up our own faction, and then we get wrecked by Germans and by Soviets at the same time. And we don't even have any help from the Allies, so this is like the only way that wars and joining the Allies. So what else can we do? Okay, we can become communist, and then we have Soviet help in fighting the Germans, so we could just um, have some front lines, survive, uh, fight with Germany. Uh, Soviets are going to help us, uh, probably Allies are going to fight Germans, so that's probably like one of the easier ways. There's the second way, it's also bugged right now, so we could join the Axis. Unfortunately, joining Axis is right now bugged, because if you join the Axis, you automatically lose all your East Poland, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 states, uh, to Soviets. You have nothing to say about it. it even if you're at war with the Soviets, uh, if you don't call Germans into the war, uh, you will still lose them automatically. There's just no way to save them. This is just a bug, this is a dumb bug, and uh, I hope they fix it next patch, but we're not playing with... Uh, this kind of mods. Oh yeah, we're playing with a mod that gives a random uh, a bunch of qu uh, countries uh, focus trees. So for example, Finland has one, Sweden has one, uh, Netherlands has one, Yugoslavia has one, Iran, uh, nationalist China, and maybe one more country, I don't know. Uh, a bunch of countries have their own mods. Maybe like Canada or something, let's take a look. Is Canada has own? Yep, that seems like Canada has one. Uh, I played with older version, now it's like a few more countries. Oops, I accidentally turned on the nightbot. Uh, that's just silly. Uh, Australia, yep, they also have, yeah, so that's like eight countries, maybe, with their own focus trees, but doesn't actually affect us directly. Nobody around us has one. Yugoslavia and Finland and Sweden are the closest. So, uh, yes, yeah, so we can't join the Axis, we can't join the Allies, we can't form in the Moshe, we could for, uh, we could join the Comintern. The thing is that you have to rush, because if you wait until Soviets get claims on Eastern Poland, uh, they won't let you into the common term, so you have to go communist really quickly. Uh, let's actually start setting this stuff up. I'm going to start by just convoys. Um, I'm not going to have any big navy uh, early. Right. Uh, that's fine. Infantry equipment. Let's get some artillery. We probably have a massive deficit in infantry equipment right away. Of course, the only thing we're building ever is... Um, um, military factories, there's no point building anything else. 
And yes, so what else can we do? Uh, we have a few more strategies, e other than joining Covington. So another strategy is to give Tanzik away. Uh, it sounds really horrible because that means we're losing four factories. And you know, four factories, million people, that's a lot. It's not like the biggest uh, number ever, but that's like a fairly significant loss. Uh, and we lost our connection to water, so four factories. Uh, but then, Germany is going to leave us alone, they have nothing else. After they get Danzig, they just leave us alone forever. And that's what I'm gonna do, but there are a few other ways, so let's discuss everything else. So the next thing is you can rush uh, war with Germany right away, just ignore everything else, uh, fight Germany and defeat Germany before Soviets do anything, which is a totally legitimate thing. I did it on 1.0, I think it's just going to be a bit more difficult now than it was. Uh, under 1.0. That was my first Kappa, so I'm just gonna try something else. So that's pretty much the entire set. So let's repeat everything. Uh, the easiest strategy is to glit take over Czechoslovakia and glit German AI. Um, the worst ways are join the Allies or form your own faction. Uh, one, you can rush joining Comintern, which is a reasonable strategy. Uh, joining Axis is glitched, and giving Germany Danzig is probably uh, like the most legitimate strategy that's available. What else can we do? Uh, we're going to lose four factories here, so let's get some factories elsewhere. Uh, Lithuania and Latvia, how many factories do they have in Estonia? That's five factories, that's five factories, and that's uh, four factories. So this is 14 factories, and they'll probably go for um, industrial focuses relatively early, because they have nothing better to do. Uh, most countries uh, which have more than one province and then Chinese miners are going for industrial focuses relatively early. So that's the plan, we're going to fabricate all those bastards simultaneously. Um, and to do it before the guarantee spam starts, I have to rush this. So, uh, yes. Because once the guarantee starts, uh, spam starts, it's really going to be difficult to expand, so we have to do it relatively quickly. So we're going to do this. Uh, first, uh, get some political power. We could go fascist or something, but there's really no like massive point. Uh, then we get recruitable population, which is nice. And then we get this. Uh, this delays like extra research slots and all the industry and stuff. That this is really nice. This is really good stuff. All of this is good stuff. But let's uh, get this as soon as possible. Uh, we're going to get 10% uh, world tension because of the Spanish Civil War, probably. Okay, so let's get our army. We probably have like a lot of crazy um, templates. Uh, what do we have? Uh, nonsense, 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 nonsense. Get this nonsense away. Uh, cavalry is going to be useful in that you can use them to suppress. Uh, three calf. Oh my god, this is a horrible, horrible division. I don't want those divisions. Like, that's a waste of suppression. I should probably just make all of them into infantry. Um, okay. Uh, okay, that's. What kind of templates are they? Nine... Uh, templates are kind of crap. Uh, yeah, Recon is kind of crap. Um, it's fine, I guess. Anyway, um, now let's make everybody here. Like, literally everybody. Okay, let's split them in half. Oops, no. So, okay, so that's the plan. I'm just gonna make them all into infantry. Uh, I could make them mountain infantry, but I don't think I have enough infantry equipment for that. So for now, we're just going to make them all into infantry and we're going to um, drift toward optimal uh, design later. Yeah, I don't have this kind of infantry equipment, I don't have this kind of support equipment. But that's fine. Uh, we're going to focus on this, we're going to get, to get it done. So, you're going here. You're going here. Uh, I will declare war on all three at the same time. Let's see if we have any nice generals. I don't like field marshals. Field marshals uh, gain um, uh, levels too slow. Okay, so let's get those two generals. Uh, if we can get them to like level 9 or something. I think the max is... Is it 9 or 10? Because I don't even remember. We have three slots. We're going to get more slots later. Okay, that's obviously the obvious start. Never start with anything else. And let's see what else we can do. Uh, we could get some bonuses. Oh yes, obviously, what we can do is no 
question about it be it's superior firepower. Everybody is superior firepower. This is like every other tree is just garbage. Superior firepower is like 10 times better than any other tree. And yellow yeah, fleet. Oh yeah, we have fleet of five ships. What is even the point? And no commanders. Okay, let's get one commander. Uh, first commander is free, so we can might as well. Uh, there's no point, you can just stay there. Eventually we're going to lose Danzig anyway, so whatever. Um, we can train some guys. Can I train them? No, I have to close this and train. Okay. Oh no, this is a low manpower warning. This is not a training warning. Okay, so let's train a bunch of guys. Okay, uh, can't we do that? Well, we don't have um, enough uh, military hardware for them anyway. And let's import some stuff. No, no, let's import from somebody neutral, like, let's say... Um, I guess we're not going to fight Americans, probably. Uh, let's get it from uh, Guangxi League. Yeah, sure. Like, if you have a choice and it doesn't really matter, you might as well import from somebody neutral. Okay, so uh, I think I'm going to actually modify it and remove... Oh, I can't actually remove that because that cost me uh, exp experience. So yes, I want to remove Recon. It's not worth it. It's just not worth it. It's too expensive. It's not like super expensive, but it costs more than nothing. So it's 510. Uh, that costs like 10 infantry equipment plus... No, sorry, what was the cost? The cost is uh, 10 support equipment. This is 40 production plus 20, 60 production. So 60 production is enough to get... Uh, eh, it's not that big. Okay, we can just keep it for now. Okay, uh, production. So yeah, that's fine. Uh, that's more or less what we want. We want a lot of artillery. Yeah, like that. We need support for... Uh, later I'm gonna just change... Uh, Recon into a maintenance, probably. Okay. Uh, aluminum, we can get this from somebody... Uh, eh, Greece, I guess. Like, it doesn't matter, like, terribly much, but uh, if you can import from somebody um, neutral, you should probably do it. Or your friends, but I don't think we're going to be friends with anybody. So here's the plan. We're going to get all the Baltic states. Hopefully without getting into guarantee spam, which, you know, you never know, might actually fail. And after that, we're going to go to war with the Soviets. That's the entire plan. Crush Soviets. Soviets, as you can see, um, have... Oh, I, oh my god, I forgot to... I forgot to turn on the my nice tweak that actually gives exact numbers of everything. I, like, I prefer playing with exact numbers of the stuff, but I forgot to turn on this mod. And next session, those numbers are going to be exact, because I'm just annoyed by that. Uh, I don't think there's any value in those rangers. Anyway, they have, we have 40 divisions, they have like 160, just four times as many, that's fine, not a big deal. No reason to, wait, didn't I set it up? What do we need? Why is it rubber? Uh, fine. Let's get it from Australia. This one factory it just costs me way too much. I should probably cancel it and just get more production of infantry equipment. I have to. J I, I'm using two civilian factories just to make this work. Oh well. Yeah, let's get speed 4. So as you can see, the, no army effort, industrial effort, and aviation effort, that, that's just dumb. No miner should ever take aviation effort, but industrial effort has a very high chance. So by the time we can actually attack them, most of them are probably going to get more uh, factories. They start with 5, 5, and 4. They will probably have uh, considerably more by that time. But that's going to be like in a year. So they might have like 6, 6, and 6 or something. It's that's a big improvement. We're going to go over 50 by the time we get it. So even losing Danzig is not going to be that bad. 
I could actually destroy all those factories just to like uh, screw Germans, but we're going to get it back eventually, so no worries. Uh, I don't think I can join the allies or anyone. Nope, world tension is zero and I'm non-aligned so I can't. Uh, by the way, this is kind of bullshit that I understand that I can't join communists as, let's say, democracy, but uh, non-aligned should just be able to join. Why not? There's really no reason. Like, non-aligned is treated as an ideology instead of just a lack of one. But we don't have an ideology, we're just non-aligned. That's what it means, no ideology really. Okay. Yeah, I can't justify the war. I'd like to know how much it's gonna cost me. Uh, do we have anyone? War industrialist, that's nice. Uh, yeah, that's the only one, unless I wanted to go in some ideology, but I don't think I have any reason to. Uh, I should probably go limited conscription as soon as possible. Uh, war economy... Um, yeah, we must be at war, so we should just save some uh, points for war economy. But first, let's get the conscription done. Yeah, we can, might as well speed 5. That's going to take forever. Yeah, 700 days. That's just gonna take forever. Spanish Civil War. Amazing. Oh, it doesn't actually cause any tension. Just the volunteers. Okay, I thought the Spanish Civil War on its own gonna cause t um, world tension, but I think it's only happening um, after it's actually won. Okay. Yeah, remilitarization of Rhineland. So next we're going to Polish Militaris, which goes as, gives a recruitable pop. Which is always nice. And yeah, let's just get something. So let's get more recruitable pop anyway. There's no reason not to. Uh, we're going to go to service by requirements sooner or later anyway, so might as well start on it. Um, don't think there's any reason to... Oh, I can't even go this. Okay, I thought I could go partial mobilization uh, right away, but apparently I can't. So yeah, let's go for limited conscription. Yes, so that's construction effort. I think this already gives them a uh, one C factor, yeah. Industrial effort, equip. Okay, so they will get it. They will get more factories and we'll capture them. I'm not going to wait because if we wait too long, uh, tension is going to get too high. Like, the entire point of this is that we're going to rush Polish revanchism just to be able to fabricate early on. And nothing cute like trying to get uh, Czechoslovakia. We're playing an honest game here. Okay, so I could get some research bonuses, or I could try to get, let's say, maintenance company, or artillery bonuses. Now let's get, let's play the long game. Uh, we can't really rush this, so might as well play the long game. Yeah, big big um, backlog of things we need. Well, actually, a lot of them are just like new divisions. I'm trying to recruit new divisions. It's gonna take a lot of time. I'll just get them in training, there's really no reason not to. Okay, this is the maximum we can train, 30 divisions, which makes sense. Yeah, 75% of what you have. Okay, let's delete those guys. Let's delete those guys. So that gives us even more recruitable pop, so we have enough recruitable pop right now, we don't have to care about this, so yeah, let's get this. This means that we can uh, start fabricating stuff. Uh, the alternative would be just to go fascist or communist as soon as possible. But let's just do it nicely. Basic machine tools, yep, so next we're going to go to construction industry. Like, there's no... This is like the most pr high priority technology in the entire game, those four and those five. Nothing has higher priority, like nothing in a game, absolutely nothing. Like the difference, it seems like those bonuses are small, but taking those four uh, technologies, just those four, gives you 82% higher production that you have at the base at the start of the game. That's plus 82% between those four. It's just crazy how big this bonus is. 82% just in 1937. It's Later it becomes much smaller because of how the uh, bonuses work, but it starts really crazy high. Uh, 
I guess I need more convoys. I have 16 convoys, okay. Yes, never any reason not to make convoys. Alright, let's get this. Um, next one is going to be World Industrialist. Um, 10% military factory construction speed is not like the best thing in the world, but it's decent. We built one already, so let's build one more. Just not here, because the Germans are going to take it all. And that's going to be embarrassing. So yeah, we want the world tension to be at 10%, but less than 25%. Because if this becomes 25%, the guarantee spam starts. And we really don't want to start a guarantee spam, that's just going to be horrible. So this, we have a very narrow window where we actually can uh, expand. Okay, so now we can do it. Okay, what's... Right, so now we can actually decide what we're doing. Uh, military factory construction speed 20%, that sounds just lovely. Uh, dockyards, I, I never care about air stuff, it's just bullshit. Uh, land doctrine bonus, that's nice. Uh, yeah, this has nice bonuses. But I think the biggest bonuses are like here. Research slots, second research slot. Uh, that's construction tech, that's nice. Sif factory, that's infrastructure, it doesn't matter. Sif factory, uh, that's Sif factory, mill factory, infrastructure, mill factory. It's not like the best thing ever. So industry bonus and construction bonus. Yeah. Yeah, so let's try to get a research slot and get all the fac extra free factories on the way. So we can see in a moment what they're going to what they're going to do. Construction too, armaments too. Construction, yeah. So they're getting all the free factories. So they're going to be quite good uh, targets to take. Yeah. So they started at five. Now they have seven. They got one uh, free factory. They didn't get anything else yet. Oh, we'll see. Unfortunately, we still have to wait for uh, tension to grow a bit. <coughs> Can't justify them yet. I should probably st stop getting the stuff. Uh, because I need to justify the same time. The uh, de declaration of war has to be same day. Otherwise, uh, guarantees are just going to start uh, flying. And we don't want that. Okay, we can deploy all the planes. There's no reason not to. Yep, Olympia, nobody cares. It's like real Olympia, nobody cares. I don't care, you don't care, nobody cares. Yeah, I'd like to deploy this stuff. Okay, yeah, that unfortunately reduces the tension somehow. I have no idea how this even works, but it does. So if we have like 100 divisions, that's enough to attack Soviets, especially if they have like at least one artillery each. Which they don't right now, but they will eventually. War with the Soviets is going to be our first war, and we're giving away uh, Danzig to Germans, that's our plan. It sounds like a horrible plan, but well, that's what we're gonna do. So now we're just waiting for this war to finish, or Japan to attack China. Yeah, construction, construction, con Yeah, that's three more factories in 70 days, so it's like having four focuses at the same time. Having those three nice uh, targets. Yeah, I can go speed five. Yeah, but the risk is that you have a very narrow window where this can happen. If, for example, you get to 10%, you start fabricating, which is gonna take a while, and it goes over 25%, and then they start spamming guarantees, the entire campaign just can derail. Like, if everybody gets guaranteed by Britain, like, the entire campaign just, campaign just goes to hell. Oh, hello, cut. Yeah, you, you can still play, because you can just ignore that, or just go to war with allies, it's just gonna be miserable. Alright. So that's C factory, yeah, that's good. 
all the three factories. Yes, yeah, superior firepower. This is the most important stuff. Uh, especially the first three. So this is extra organization and this is extra defense. It's really good. Or we could get this bonus. It's much faster. Or we could get maintenance. That's also nice. Or we, yeah, let's get construction actually. We don't have that many research slots yet. We'll get more. Uh, and of course, everything here is going to be micro like hell. There's not going to be any automation. That's just our arm is too small to just even bother automating stuff. Yeah, so armament, armament, armament. Like the number of factors is going to grow. So now I have six, uh, eight, and six. They will have more every time. And even after we start fabricating, they will just keep uh, doing the focuses. So we're going to maybe capture like. 30 factories, it's just going to double our factory base. They start with 14, but they will just go really fast by the time we can actually attack them. It's almost as good as Anschluss. Yep, construct the industry. Uh, come on, stop this. Uh, that's not this year yet, so we have one. We have time to get one thing. Uh, well, that would be nice, but not just yet. Uh, I want maintenance companies at some point and not. Uh, what am I clicking? Yeah, let's just get some doctrines. Oh, I got two things at the same time. Yeah, that should happen as soon as possible, so let's not delay it too much. So, can I get something fast? Well, I could get this ahead of time. Uh, I don't like this normally, but... Yeah, let's get it ahead of time. I'm just gonna wait for this to just get maxed out. I'm gonna get it ahead of time. And let's get industri- Oh! Sh oh no, industrial focus is here. Um, or is there something else I might need? Yes, I need things. So what I need uh, is I need war economy. Oh, that might not work because they might not have 40% of my factories. Uh, now we'll have time, we'll have time. Let's get industrial uh, concern. And as soon as this happens, I'm just going to get a next level of concentrated industry. I should have probably just uh, ignored the delay and just did... Uh, oh no, I, I'm gonna have two slots. Okay, so we're not going to lose anything. We're going to do... Alright. So, yeah, that's gonna be a lot of silly clicking, uh, but we're going to get a uh, next research slot. Quite soon. Okay. I'm just waiting for this to max out. I wish this was necessary, but right now it is. Okay, that's max, so let's get this. Yeah, so we're going to wait a few days to get this as soon as possible. Like, those technologies are super useful. These are the most important four technologies in the game, is the four industrial technologies, the first ones. Like the, le like, the higher levels are worth much less in terms of percentages, but those four, this is 82% bonus in total. It's crazy how good this is. Yeah, it's gonna take a while. And after that we can start building all the artillery. Just like that. Yeah, so we're waiting for this war to finish, which is gonna finish in quite soon. And I don't know if I have enough uh, political power, oh, okay, to fabricate on them all simultaneously, because this is important, same time. So that's 34 three times, so I would need um, about 100. Okay, so let's wait for 100. So that's 102, I think, okay. Yeah, because if I don't do it the same time, they're going to get um, uh, guaranteed. There's no way around it. So waiting for 102. And we're going to declare the same day. It's important it doesn't... Uh, anti in fact. Yep. 
Okay, one military factory with 102 points to fabricate all three at the same time. That's the only way. If you don't do it, they're gonna get guaranteed spawned by Britain and France and maybe somebody else as well. Is it still 34? Yep, okay, it's waiting two days. Good. So... Yeah, that's one day late earlier, but that's fine. So now let's hope uh, nobody's gonna guarantee spam them. They can't unless something happens, like right now. So this is uh, August. August 19 and 24. So August 24 is when it's gonna... Okay. So now we're in tungsten. Okay, so we started building artillery. And Portugal is fine. Uh, country to trade with. Exactly. This is super important to rush. Everything else is nice to have. This is not nice to have. This is a must have. Yeah, there's no template for artillery yet. There will be. Uh, by the way, if you want, uh, if you want a cheap army, artillery is the easiest way to get a cheap army because firepower you get from infantry equipment is very low actually. Firepower you get from artillery is much higher per production cost. So the best way to have a cheap army is actually to produce a lot of artillery. That's why uh, I just like got enough to equip not my dudes, but I'm gonna go for artillery quite uh, just afterwards. So we can duplicate this template and get like a proper heavy infantry template. And that is our template. Uh, I guess I could keep them the recon company. Yeah, sure, fine, have it. Yeah, you can keep the recon, I don't care. Eventually I'm gonna get rid of it because there are like much better things than recon company, but yeah, you can stay like that. And yeah, let's give them a different icon. Because I don't like everybody having the same icon. Uh, this icon looks nice. So we're going to start training some of those. So let's get rid of some. Uh, let's just limit it to 20 and let's get 10 of those guys. Yep, so 10 of those guys. Uh, that's gonna take a while. Just like that. So yeah, that's 3500 days. So hopefully nothing is going to happen for the next uh, few months, so we can actually attack those guys all at the same day. Because if the guys start getting guarantee spam, this means my entire strategy failed miserably. Anyway, you can see that uh, construction effort, uh, that's naval, so that's... Does it give dockyards? I think it gives dockyards. Construction too. Uh, yeah, a reset slot, that's super important. So the number of factories that they're getting is higher and higher. So now they have 9, uh, they have uh, 13, and they have 9. This is really nice. This is getting really nice. Oops! Seriously. Ugh. Are they going to for war with China right away? Okay, so we might actually lose this. We might actually lose this entire campaign if, because of bad timing. Uh, if they get guarantees pumped, if Britain guarantees everybody, which might happen, I think I'm just gonna restart. Just completely no point. I'm trying this strategy, it's just like, sure I could win this game, but 